YouTube. Today it's a Saturday. Can't really too much crap on the floor here. Let's get that shot on there. It's a Yamaha Session 2 820. Um bought this the guy from eBay. Um and the guy reckoned it was a nineteen ninety six because the way Yamaha serial numbers work, um you can tell it's something six, but you've got to guess the decade. So it gives you the day, the date, and the year, but it doesn't give you the first digit of the year, so it could be 76, 86, 96, 2006, but um, so we guessed 96, but I reckon 86. I found a, a catalogue online, uh, just in Japanese only, and it's really low res with this in it, and it's new in 86, and I've never really seen one like it. Uh, the Floyd Rose on it, or it's not a Floyd Rose, it's a Yamaha Floyd Rose, it's not the original trim arm. That's just a crappy one, but um, it's silver as well, it should really be gold. But it's really chunky. It's like an Aztec temple or something. Look at the back of it, it's like... Never really... Never seen one quite as chunky as that. Um, floats both ways up and down. Um, pickups are Yamaha. The original ones from it, these are a bit scuffed. The have got two uh, adjustment screws here so you can tell the angle of the pickup. That's pretty cool. Um, the surrounds have corroded really bad, not really corroded, they're just coated plastic and the neck one is like white plastic with gold on it and the black one, and that one's black so I was looking at getting brass ones which would obviously look cool but I think they might look too new in this guitar it's got brass wine pots, it's also got a push push but like not unlike the one that's in the Ibanez in this one you can actually see by looking at it whether it's in or out that's it, in, that's it, out there's the push push ones that are on my Ibanez Roadster you have to kind of guess it looks the same when it's in as it does when it's out. Uh, so push push aren't actually as bad as I thought they were. Um, even just wee bits about it, see like the, the Floyd Rose clamps which are missing, but even just that bit's just that little bit more engineered Yamaha ways. Chip, chip on machine head. <laughs> Turn it on. I've only just had this last week. Uh, I bought this. Um, we work on this DC Rich. Because uh, it needs work done. This really didn't need anything done. I put strings on it. Um, I stuck another tremolo arm in. I'm going to get the clamps. They're a funny size. Um, obviously, I bought a set from China, you know, just like your gen, your normal Floyd Rose ones, but the, the thread on the wee bolts is the wrong size, so I need to get other bolts. I've got ones from B&Q that I can put in, but I kind of, they don't have an Allen key head. They've got like a Phillips screwdriver. It looks a bit shit. So I might see if I can get them in gold or something. Uh, apart from that, ready to rock. <laughs> Does that which I've seen uh, actually Mr. Floyd Rose himself do on like the really expensive Floyd when he's demonstrating them? He does that. Brrr. As I said, I don't have the clamps on the top, so it probably will get a tune if I really abuse it. Thank you. 
It does have an issue though, which you might be able to hear there. See, you can hear the buzz coming from the amp. I'm not really sure what to cause this, but you've got to pick up up. There's no buzz, but obviously the guitar's on, so the shielding's really good. But if you turn it down, so I need to have a look at that. Some sort of earth, earth issue somewhere, I think. Yeah. But, um, apart from that, so I have to turn the amp off. Yeah, no, these, this guitar is pretty nuts. Look at, uh, look at where the the jack goes in. The jack comes out. Hey, hoo -hoo. Yeah. Do, 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 do. That's pretty cool. Look at that. There's that ridiculous bridge. A gold temple. Um. <laughs> You can't really see what grain this is, but I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like a carved top. I think my, my new favourite thing is carved tops. They are pretty damn cool. Um, I can't, you can't... Oof. Okay, didn't drop it there though. Um, looking at it... I've not actually even looked to see if it's one piece of wood or not. It could be a veneer on it, I suppose. I certainly don't see a join. I would suggest that. Okay, there's a join there. Yeah, so it's a, it's a separate top of some top of some sort. Maybe it's a maple top on an. I don't think there's a join in the back. I think the back might most of it might be one piece. It's actually painted black around the edges. Ah, oh, who knows? Anyway, it's it's actually very heavy. Um, the bridge itself must weigh more than that psychedelic guitar I've been playing a lot of. Uh, it's just a big solid block of rock. And although this isn't the right tremolo arm, it's quite good because uh, this bridge has got a wee grub screw in the back, which means you can kind of put anyone in as long as it's small enough and then just tighten the grub screw up. It does make it wobble a wee bit. I would like the actual Yamaha one, but I think the chances of finding that are pretty damn slim from a Japan only, possibly, guitar. But even the, the wood the neck's made of, it's like um, very, 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 very high grade. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a good as anything I've seen really, all the bits of this guitar, it's maybe not, it's not the most inspired shape, I don't think, it's kind of everything, it's sort of like, um, the Ibanez Roadster, that Hondo Formula 1 I've got in some other videos, it's, and a, or a, it's even an Ibanez S series, which is, they're all just kind of like this, and I'm maybe I think there's PRSs that are kind of like this, it's something, it doesn't look like this, which is really, whoa, he's a shot of that, whereas this is kind of, although it's a much better guitar, it's, doesn't inspire me yet, but then again, I've only had it for a couple of weeks. And I, th I don't think it's been played for ten years. Um, it had, it had the, the feel of a guitar that's been sitting in its case, unloved. Uh, so maybe after you know, a couple of weeks of playing it, and maybe playing it hard, and it'll start coming back to life again. It is pretty damn good the way it is. It's just obviously being a session two. They're not joking. It's for a session player. You're just this is designed to be used. You know, twelve hours a day, just every day for years and years. There's the fretware on it. There's, there's none. But obviously, I don't think it's ever really been that used. Although the wear and the, the pickups, pickup covers. I hold it in close enough and get the light on it right. Get not coat with my t-shirt. Anything so that's you there. Pick up covers. The uh, the covers are a wee bit scuffed. They're not bad, but I, I it just makes the guitar look much older than I think it would. The rest of it looks kind of new. You can tell just by looking at the expensiveness of all these things there. Eh? 